Hello everyone, so in this video I'll be talking briefly about um, the first prompt for the pre-class word of session uh, 7.1. So the problem here is to find the median of a list using heaps. So before we drive directly into the problem, then let us define the median of a list. So if we have a sorted list, 1, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, then, as you can tell, the median here is 6. So, a good way to frame um, this problem is that if I separate the list into three parts, so the leftmost part contains all of the elements that are smaller than the median, the right left part contains all of the elements that are um, bigger than the median and the median itself, uh, then I notice that for the leftmost part, 5, is the biggest elements of all the elements that are smaller than six, and seven is the smallest element of all the elements that are bigger than six. Um, and six lies specifically between five and seven. So I re the the thing that I really care about is just the biggest element of all the elements that are smaller than the median, and the smallest element of all of the um, elements that are bigger than the uh, median and I don't care about and the other elements like I don't care about if 1 3 precedes uh, 5 or 3 1 precede 5 and I don't care either about um, 8 9 following 7 or 9 8 following 7 so I don't really care about those um, so in that sense then heap is actually a very neat data structure to use here because we can build actually a max heap for all of the elements that are smaller than the median. Um, uh, and then when we need to access, access the uh, biggest element, we just pop out the element from that max heap, which is 5 here. And we can build a, similarly a min heap for all elements that are bigger than the median. And when we need to access the smallest element, we just popped um the root of the of the heap uh so i conceptualize that way so as you can see the smaller part of six i build a max heap out of that and five as you can tell the root nodes and then um uh, for uh, all the limits that are bigger than the median i build a mean here out of that and seven is a, it's a, the root of the mean heap okay so now let's uh I have some observations. So the first observation is that, as you can tell, the lower part, the lower part, this part, is the max heap, and the upper part would be a mean heap. So the upper part here would be a mean heap, and then also this is a very important observation. So the difference between the heaps length, heap lengths. I'm oh, sorry, this should be an S here. Can be greater than one. So. Um, you see that the heap here are quite balanced, so three elements each, and then six would be the element that lies in between, and then um, you can imagine that uh, six uh, is in the max heap, so in which case six would be at the root, and the max heap length would be four, and the mean heap length would be three, so in that case, six would be the median, and you can reason uh, similarly for the mean heap. So suppose that if you six is in the mean heap, in which case it would also be on the top. And in this case, mean heap would have a length of four and max heap would have length of three. And then you just take um, the root of the heap that has bigger size. But the difference between these two heaps, again, cannot be greater than one, okay? Okay, so let's work through an example. So now I have a shuffle list of our original list. So it's, this is not a sorted one, as you can tell. So my list has 5, 9, 1, 6, 3, 8, 9, and I want to find the median. So first of all, I start um, I start with a max heap, an empty one. So I have a little box for it, a max heap, and then a mean heap, an empty one of size 0. Okay, so now I consider the first element. So the first element is five, right? And then because our max heap is empty, so I just put five there, 
Okay, five we put there, and now max heap size, uh, the size of the max heap is one, and the mean heap size is now zero. So the median is if I, I don't look at the list at all, I just look at the the heaps themselves, then the median is five because I take the um, the root of the heap that whose size is, is the biggest. So here, in which case one, and you can see the difference is still within the acceptable boundary, which is one. So uh, it cannot be uh, different more than one, right? So, and now I consider the, the second element, which is seven. So seven, now I put it to the min heap because seven is bigger than five, right? So I, I cannot put it in max heap. So in the max heap, as you recount, is that f uh, the parents cannot be uh, smaller than the children, right? So the parents always have to be bigger than their children. And now seven, so I put in the min heap, so now the sizes are balanced, the sizes are balanced, and then therefore the median would be 5 plus 7 divided by 2, which is 6. Um, similarly, I'll go with 1. So 1 here, um, I put it to the max heap because 1 is smaller than 5, so I put it into the max heap bucket. And then the size of the max heap is now 2, and the median heap is still 1. Uh, and as a result, the median would be 5. Um, don't forget to check the heap property uh, at each step, in which case the our heap property is to hold. So we're good. So six, right? So now I put six to the mean heap, and both of them, the sizes of, of the of both heaps are equal now. But is the median five plus seven divided by two? Mm, not sure about it. So we have to look at the mean here to see if the heap property is to maintain, which is not, right? So the, in the mean heap, in a mean heap, the parent cannot be bigger than the children, right? So in this case, um, we have to heapify it, the mean heap, right? So in this case, we swapped 6 and 7, so 6 now would be the parent of 7, and as a result, the median would be 11... Oh no, the median would be 5.5, uh, right? So 5 plus 6 divided by 2, right? So now we look at 3, we put it at the max heap, because the max heap size is 3, whereas the mean heap size is 2, so the mean would be 5, which is the root of the heap that has a greater length. 8, so 8 here, we put to the mean heap, uh, and the uh, mean heap property is to maintain, so care much and because the sizes are balanced so we take the average of the roots of these two heaps and then finally we push 9 into the mean heap um, right uh, because okay if you recall because 9 is bigger than the root of the max heap so we don't push it there we push it to the mean heap and because the mean heap size now is 4 and the, and the max heap is only 3 so we take the root of the mean heap, whose size is the biggest. So the median here is six, right? So now I think you're already got the idea how this algorithm work and the idea behind this. But my question for you is why? Why do we have to go through an entire painful process of figuring out the mean heap and the max heap um, in order to figure out a median? And um, is that giving us any benefits or advantages over the classic way, which is sorting the list and then pull out the middle element? So I'll let you answer those questions. And it's actually in the very class work. So good luck, and I'll see you in the next videos. Thank you.